Hello, welcome to Mark's Garage. I'm looking at my steering box. I had this fitted in, but it doesn't align with the bracket on the dashboard. And the last thing you want to do is kind of put a, a bind on it. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do, I haven't tried this before, but what, what in effect I need to do is put a washer under one of the bolts, but I don't know which one I want to put the washer on. And I don't like the idea of the bolts being flat against the flange on two of them and with a washer behind one. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put some of these thin washers, there's four thin washers there on each of the bolts and then have a look where it is and then take washers out because I think it will pivot better around a stack of washers than it will with the, with the flange bolted hard against. So I'm going to put this bolt in there and put these four washers behind and those two bolts have got washers on them already. So like you can see there, that, that, that bolt has washers on it already. So I'll put this bolt through that hole there and I'll put some washers on it. And then what I'll do, I'll bolt it up. It's got four washers on each bolt and I'll see where it comes and I'll decide where I want to take washers away from. That's my idea. I haven't done it before, first time of trying it. Okay, back in a little bit. Okay, first iteration, that's with four washers on each bolt. You can see that it's pressed hard, hard over against the right hand side of the bracket and the bracket's not even bolted in tight there so it would pull it even further so let's have a look. Well so I can either, what I'll do then I'll take maybe two washers out of both of these that will bring it over. I'll try that first. So I'll bring it back and I'll show you the result of that when, when I've done it. There's two washers and two washers. That's two washers from that bolt and two washers from that bolt. So it's pulled it this way, pivoting around there, so it's come that way. Uh, I've, just, I've just done this up tight now and that is uh, what centered up well enough in my view and I, I only need to slacken them to move it this way because there's a little bit of play in, the, in there but this way is set by how it's mounted to the frame and if I rotate it it's kind of okay it's within the realms of you know, you, you can expect it to have a little bit of give on the tube like that, but not a complete and utter bind. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that now. Hopefully it still centres up reasonably well in the hole there. Mm, okay. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. Right, so then, so it's just a quick little job. And... I mean, I could have achieved the same by leaving these without a washer and putting a washer behind that bolt. But I thought having washers there will allow it to pivot more readily and not be kind of trying to bend stuff so much. Ideally, you would want it whereby you didn't have any washers and the flange was at the right angle, but... Uh, I'm afraid this one was a little bit out. Okay, righto. Just a quickie then. Thanks very much for joining me in the garage. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Hello, welcome to Mark's Garage. Look, here's a piece of bent quarter inch rod. I've just bent that. It's got a little kink there, look. 
and a bend that's more than 90. Okay, can anybody guess what it might be? What I might be intending to use it for? It's actually, um, you know, a piece from a Model A hood side where the hood sides to the hood top. So that's what I've got. So that's what I've got, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. See the hood? I'm going to lift that. I'm going to mean, let me see if I can hold the hood with one hand. This goes, this goes in there. Once again, trying to work one hand is really awkward. That goes like that, and it folds against there. Hang on, the hood is sliding forward. So it sits like that. So that sits like that. It's important to get the shape just right, so it so it sits nice. I need to do a little bit more tweaking yet but then when you lift the hood you can just put that there like that like that and it'll hold the hood up I think that's pretty neat to be honest and it can either be taken out and stored or you can just do that Down like that, hold it down like that. I need to tweak it a little bit because it's holding it off there, but uh, it just about fits in. I think that's pretty neat myself. I've just invented that because I've never seen one before, and I've cut it off a little bit short. I'm, I might extend it about another two inches. I think that'll be pretty useful out on the road. I need to think about some sort of a something to hold it down but um, <laughs> I thought about the holding it up before I thought about the holding it down. So anyway that's my little invention for today. You can see it fits the shape of the hood quite closely. I need to just bend it a little bit. Let's, uh... And it, it can't fall out. Yeah that's better. It can't fall out, so, you know, on the road, it can't fall out on the road. I was going to, you know, have some sort of something here to restrain it, but uh, I don't think it's actually necessary. And I made it long enough, so it goes between that one and that one. You know, if it was just on that one, it wouldn't have very much support, but with it going between that one and that one, it's got plenty of support. I think that's come out really well. I've impressed myself with that one. Okay, I'll do the other side and um, I'll, I'll copy it, but I'll make it a bit longer and then I'm, I may or may not extend this one because there's a little bit of leeway that yet. You've got a little bit more, you've got a little bit more, uh, you got a couple of inches you can add on there. You've got about three inches almost you could add on there. So I can make it two inches. Two inches longer. Pretty neat. Okay. Almost a one-handed operation. In fact, it is a one-handed operation. Okay, let me get the other one done then and uh, I'll show you how it looks. This is the one that I made that was a bit shorter than the other one. So 
I'm going to try and weld this here. Uh, it might be difficult, but that's my setup there, just using the workmate as a bridge. So let's see how this goes. The bigger the gob, the better the job. Not sure that's my uh, finest bit of welding there, but rather difficult. <laughs> anyway, hey ho, let's grind it up and see how it looks. Okay, I've um, done both sides now, welded it, grinded it, ground it rather, I suppose I should say. There's the one side. This one was a little bit difficult to bend because the metal was quite um, pitted, but I didn't want to sort of ruin a, a decent hood uh, pivot pin bar, so I thought I'll use the worst ones I've got, <laughs> if you see what I mean. So that's the one side, and this is the side that I've just this is the side that I've just done. Okay, I went a bit mad with the grinding, but. Uh, They both fit okay, I think. So one of the things I need to think about is um, something to hold it down, which I might just put a spring in the corner there somewhere to hold it down. It doesn't need a lot to hold it down. There's not a lot making it want to come up, in my experience. So I think that's pretty neat really, so you, you lift that up and it's almost like, almost like it deploys semi-automatically. Quite pleased with that to be honest. You've got to get it so it's not too far in. That fits okay. You wouldn't want to be doing it in a high wind, would you? But I think that's pretty neat, to be honest. And you know what you'd call a original idea. I've never never seen that done before. I'll be a millionaire this time next year with ideas like this. Okay, right, a good little job there, you know, not a massive job, not a massive amount of investment of time, money, just a little bit of, you know, <laughs> find the odd bits that are lying around and uh, modify them up and got something useful out of them. Thanks very much for joining me in the garage then, I'll catch you on the next one, bye. I put the things on there and it aligned well at the top but when I tried to fit the tube here it was tight against the board there now I could just radius the board out but it's also tight against this pedal now I can see that this pedal doesn't actually fit against the little notch that's in the thing there as if the pedal wants to be bent but if I bend the pedal I'm gonna to have to remake that top piece up there in other words the order that I've done these things in isn't necessarily the best order because I'm having to change things now so what I think I'm going to do is put put some extra shims in here to move the whole thing that way a little bit that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to try that and see if I'm happy with it. And then what I might do is when it's done, I might actually turn some little spices rather than having a stack of washers. That's what I might do. You know, use the washers to get the height and then measure the height and go and make some. Okay, so that's what I think I'm going to do.
I'll carry on then and I'll bring you back when there's more to show. Okay, I've gone, kind of gone for a little bit of overkill and I've put four extra washers in boat in all, all three. So these two have got six and this one's got eight. That's moved the whole thing that way, which has solved the problem there. The, the shroud fits nicely. But, but it has pushed the shaft over there now. Over there. Now I don't, I could I suppose move this. I might look at slotting the holes in here just to move this a little bit that way. That might be a good way of doing it actually. I was, I was just thinking that um, I could, uh, you know, take, for instance, one washer out of both of these to bring it this way. Or maybe just one out of the top. I might try that actually. I was just thinking that I could take a washer out of these or maybe just one out of there or put one, an extra one in there. I might just try one washer out from that one there. Let's see what that does for me. Let's try that. Okay, I'm prepared to accept that there. I think that's okay. It can come down a little bit because there is a, a little bit of play on those bolts, so I think that's okay. Uh, and it's not so bad there. So I'm, I'm prepared to go with that then. Let's put the shroud in place and see how that fits. There's like a sort of clamping device on the back of here. Just kind of pushes down on the tube, pushes it into that, into this radius here. I might make a little packing piece actually to go in there as well. Yeah, I think I'll do that. But that's the idea. Okay, so I think that is okay. Yeah, I think that is okay. I'll just check a couple of things. One of the things is, will this go on? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will because you can see the mark where it comes to there. Okay, I need to turn it to get it right. There's a lot of dust in here from doing all that woodworking. You can't generally see it, but you can see it in the camera. You can see it all here, look, see. Everything's covered in it, see. Look at this. That's why you keep seeing all the little floaty bits in the in the camera. Oh well. Needs a good ride down the road, doesn't it, to blow all that stuff out. Okay, I think I think I'm fairly happy with this. I might just actually leave those washers, you know. If they're good and tight those nuts. There shouldn't be any, I mean they're all stuck together and in a strong compression. Hmm, I'll have a think about it. So, from memory then, that's got eight. These had six and this one's got one less so that's got five. That's got six, that's got five and that's got eight. So what I could do is get the washers, get the washers, stack them up, 
sort of stack them up and clamp them and measure the thickness I mean there's six there I could measure that thickness and then go and make a one piece spacer yeah I think I might do that actually I might do that make a one piece spacer and then swap those in and take the washers out what I, I don't mean a one piece triangular spacer I mean three one piece spacers so I need eight I need eight five and six don't I so there's eight there's eight looks like about a quarter of an inch doesn't it I'll measure it okay right they're quite handy those thin washers actually so yeah probably be good to make the spaces and then save the washers for another job another day those are the washers that I used on the um, Conrad's righto back in a bit hello there's three spacers here I've just made these on the lathe um, they're just a piece of um, mild steel shaft that I turned down it's actually from a steering column on a uh, I think possibly a Bedford lorry not sure um, and it, you, what you might or might not be able to see there are three different uh, thicknesses I measured eight washers and the eight washers came out to 0.275 so that one's done to 0.275 that one's done to five eighths of 275 and that's one done that one's done to six eighths of 275 so that was like 200 thou ish that's one something I can't remember where it was but there's the three little spacers so I thought they'd, they'd be easier to handle than the washers so I'm going to substitute these in now and hope hopefully the um, setting will remain the same there's a slight chamfer on the one side just because it was easy to do while it was in the lathe okay right I'll, sw I'll swap those in then and uh, bring you back hello right okay you can't tell any difference from this view but uh, I've put those little spacers in tightened them up and um, I'll just have a look so now when I look here this bearing is that there's slack but there's slack in all directions in other words it isn't pulling tight to the one side or the other so that in my book that's that's fine good bit of progress then that that's one of those tricky little jobs where you just have to kind of stick with it and um, you know stick with it and um, get it so it's right yeah it's clear of that pedal just not by much though uh, because it, is, it isn't a stock rebuild everything requires extra care and attention but you know I've been an engineer in the automotive industry all of my work in life till I retired and uh, this is what we we do we check that things are going to work okay that's it in a nutshell isn't it checking that things are okay righto good progress thanks very much for following along i'll catch you on the next one bye